Romans chapter 13, verse 11, it reads, And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. All right, call halal Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Kahakodash, that belongs to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace, blessing, salutation to the Akiyam on the four corners, putting in this work in faith and truth, and sincerely risking their lives and freedom on a daily basis to do so, and to the few uh, sisters that are trying to receive the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. In ominous meters and silence, I bid you salutations. And I just, um, I started off with Romans 13 and 11. Just, um, I went through a few, few scriptures, looking at these videos, man, of the chariots of Israel, man. Okay? Which is, um, this is, this is, this, this is confident, man. Okay? You others, you know, the heathens and you others may be dismayed, um, by this book. You know, the men of the Lord, the hopefully elect, you know, it's coined by the Apostle Gabor. And then we rejoice, man, when we get to see things like this, man. That's let us know that our salvation is near um, than what we believe, man. All right? I, the, the, the scriptures mention, it when you, see, you know, when you see these things begin to happen, know that the time uh, is at hand, man. All right? I'm going to go through a few, um, a few more scriptures. Let me go to another video. So this is uh, another good one, man. All right. Shit, that's Isaiah uh, 31 and 5, man. As birds flying, so will Yahweh of hosts defend Jerusalem, defending. Also, he will deliver it, passing over it. He will preserve it, man. All right. I'm going to go through a few more scriptures, man, just through the Spirit. This is uh, James 5 and 8. James 5 and 8, he reads, But, Salakia, James 5 and 8, Be ye also patient. Establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord. Draw off not, man. All right? So we don't we don't have that much time left, man. All right. The chariots are making themselves known. The prophecies are coming to pass uh, <laughs> on a daily basis, man. Let's see if I can find a, a, another one, another good video of the chariots of Israel, man. All right. This is on First Peter. First Peter four and seven. First Peter four and seven it reads. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Alright? So we must remain sober, man, in, in circumspect as men of the Lord, man. We see these signs come to pass man all right so that's why i said man hey wake up wake you up out of sleep man because our salvation is nearer than, than what we believe man all right we go to revelations one and three revelations one and three it says blessed if he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Okay? Blessed is he that readeth. That word again in the Greek is agonosko. Agonosko, which means to um, read uh, with understanding, man. All right? So, blessed is he that readeth with understanding, man. And we understand these prophecies, man. Okay? And they're coming to pass, man. And we, okay, we're not, we're not dismayed, man. Okay? We're not, we're not, we're not wigged out, man. We're not bugging out, Okay? We hasten for the day. We hasten the day, man. So we can get the hell up out of here, man. Right? And dwell in the kingdom with our big brother, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And dwell with the brothers, man. And all this madness and bullshit and fuckery will be over with, man. Luke 21. And 25, it reads, 
And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then they shall see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things become to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw nigh. We ain't got long, man. Call Allah, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Kahakudash. See? We ain't got long, man. Let's go back to this one. Beautiful, man. And with that, call Allah, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Kahakudash. The bonds to the apostles and elders of great millstone peace, best to say, attention to the whole free lick on the four corners of the earth, put in this work in faith and truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom on a daily basis to do so. Right into the few sisters that are trying to see the word of Yah Bashim Al Shah and I'm in this meetings in silence. I bid you salutations. Abba, Baba, Shalom.